What happens when you don't uh, wear safety equipment and ride the board? Woo, look at that. Always, oh Ooh. yeah, pull my underwear down. Yeah, yeah, get a real close up in there. Ooh. I want to touch it. Welcome to my second juice board review. So I've had this guy for a week now. Well, just a little bit over a week. I got it last Sunday. I've ridden this thing almost every single day for the past week, usually about three times a day, to work, home from work, and then like a, a little fun ride at night. So I've been putting some miles on it, putting it in some tough situations. So this is gonna be a much more complete, I hope, review than the one that I originally put up. charge time test. I've ridden this thing into work. Uh, it's, you know, I, I would say it's a couple of miles, uh, maybe like two, two miles. But either way, when this light turns green, the board will be charged. And I got the timer going here. So I'll give you guys an idea. Not quite 45 minutes, a little bit over, but still not bad for having, I, I think I drove about four kilometers, something like that on this thing. here is pretty simple. I want to test out the hill climb, I want to do some speed tests. The best place to do that is these trails. But first off, let's just do a little acceleration test. So 200 pounds on a juiced duel, here's how it accelerates. I'm in max speed, this is acceleration test. Due to the in-hub motors, it doesn't take off quite as quick as I have other boards that I've seen, but it doesn't do a terrible job either, and it gets up to a real good top speed. We're not topped out here, but it is pretty quick. Board could definitely still give me a little bit more kick, but she gets going pretty quick, especially down a hill. The board rides really comfortably. I've loosened up the trucks a little bit since I first got it, and it's really, really nice. It doesn't have a lot of bump or jiggle. It has a good amount of flex. So another big thing with longboards is obviously you want to be able to climb some sweet hills. Now with the in-hub motors, it can't climb as well as a belt-driven board, but take a look at this hill right here. I don't know if I can really portray it. I'm not getting a running start. I am starting from pretty much the bottom of the hill. It's a pretty decent little incline here. Let's see what we got. Ten feet of run up. Ten feet, still not enough. Try twenty. With about 20 feet of run up, AKA going at what I would consider to be like an average electric skateboard pace, so not starting at the bottom of a hill and trying to force it up, the board did fine. It slowed down a little bit, but if I had even more speed, it would have handled this hill no problem. Huh? You wanna try it? Come here. All right, don't kill yourself or anything, all right? I'm not, I'm not legally, I'm not legally liable if you die. There you go. Maybe bend your Yo, can knees. Can I try it after he's done? Yeah, yeah, you can try it. No, I'm going after he's done. I'm going after John. No, I already called in. This is just, just push up to go. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> How do you turn? Just like just lean. Just lean. Yeah, that's like a regular longboard. What's the top speed? Uh, like 28, I think. Is that the one I said? 28 kilometers. Yeah. <laughs> Sick. I ride longboard all the time. Oh yeah. See, I, I ride skateboard a lot, but I never had a longboard before this. Bucks? 500 bucks for a single. This is a dual, which is, I think these are 800, because it's both, the wheels are like in the motor back here, and so both of these wheels are motors. But with the single, one wheel is a motor, and one wheel is like a regular wheel like this one. Love it, there you go, man. Check out the Indiegogo. See you guys. One of the things I like most about this board is tons of people stop and are just like, hey, they're asking about it, they're interested, they just think it's cool, because it is really genuinely cool. The fact that I am doing this 
on my way to and from work. Like, it's ridiculous how much fun this is. Like, why would I ever drive a car? Look, at, I, I'm on friggin' Endor right now. All right, so here's the hill that I know I can't climb. This is one of the most intense hills. This is a, this is a pretty big, like you can see, it goes all the way back here. It, go, it still has more to go up. This is this is a really intense hill. However, if I don't want to carry this longboard all the way up, but you know what I do? It can make it up any hill without a rider. We've done acceleration, we've done hill climb, but we need to do top speed. fast enough for me. 10 kilometers faster than this would be really scary for me. I mean, this is my first longboard ever. I've skateboarded a lot, but this longboard, going 40 kilometers an hour on a longboard, it's not something I'm really familiar with. I mean, I snowboard, but then you have soft, fluffy snow to fall into all day. My, my, my. What do we have here? A bunch of longboard testing subjects, right? No. Right? Are you putting the new skin on? Yeah. Did, did yeah. you do it? Oh, yeah. already did some. Kids, wear safety gear. Do it, Christine. Do it. The new skin challenge. Hashtag new skin. Hashtag do it. <laughs> Hashtag down for it life. Oh, he's going to do it to himself, ladies and gentlemen. The mad lad. Oh, so bad. 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 Oh, Ah! <laughs> it burns! Yeah? Why would it burn? I know. Two, one. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> that one's bad, huh? <laughs> <laughs> So there's only one test left to do. So we've tested the top speed, we've tested the takeoff, the turning, we've tested the hill climb, we've tested the battery, we've tested lots of stuff. Haven't tested it in the rain. This is gonna be awful. Juiced electric longboard, rain test one. Test complete. The, the board is covered in water from head to toe. The entire back section here, it's like mud and dirt. I was running through all sorts of stuff. Uh, and it's fine, like, look, there's leaves on here. Like, my pants are also, they're just, they're covered in dirt and grime and stuff. Like, if I just put my hand up them, you can see. Look at all that dirt. Cody, you don't want to eat that dirt. I'm going to dry off, and then I'm going to give you my final thoughts on the board. So. This is it, the end of the review. I made it home, I got very, very, very wet, but this baby survived. I wanna close this up by just letting you guys know, first of all, me, I am a novice electric longboard rider, okay? And so I feel like this board, as an introduction to electric longboarding, is perfect. It seems to be very high quality. I haven't had any problems with it at all. It's got decent top speed, which by the way, Juice reached out to me. They said that these boards, mine is actually capped. It doesn't even go the top speed of the production model. They, they actually forced it to only go 18 miles per hour. 
maximum in the pre-production review models. I didn't even know that. And that's the key, is that this board is not for the seasoned professional. This isn't for the pro who's been riding boosted boards since they came out and is an electric longboard mastermind. This is for the entry-level guy, just like myself, who's skateboarded all his life, snowboarded all his life, done lots of stuff like that, but never tried longboarding. And I wanted to get into it, and this is the perfect entry product. It's not too expensive where you're breaking the bank, but it's not so cheap that you're gonna wanna buy a new one like the next year. It's not so cheap that you're gonna spend like 300 bucks and then it's gonna break like the next day or the next week. It charges up decently, it gets to a good top speed, it corners well, it's a smooth ride. In conclusion, after a week with the Juiced Electric Longboard, I'm still giving this thing like a 10 out of 10, maybe a nine out of 10. There's definitely better boards out there for this, but in my position as somebody who's just getting into longboarding and enjoying it, I, I, I don't think that there's a better board. I, I, I've looked around and I have been researching lots of boards for a long time. I think it's a good price point. I think it's got good features. Everybody who tries this thing loves it. I love it. I just, I can't say enough good things about it. I, I really enjoy it. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed the review. This is it for my video for today. I think that it uh, went a little more in depth than maybe my first uh, juiced review. I've got a link down in the description. You can pick up a board on Indiegogo, back them now. I, I highly recommend it. It's a super, super great product. Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. My name is Jeff Wood. You might know me as Minolta1034, and I will see you guys next time. And musk and, and, and sexuality. Yeah, oh yeah. Beautiful. That's what the ladies want to see.